Already the speculation is rampant on who will succeed Pope Benedict. No one ever puts their name forward or actively campaigns for the job, but there are cardinals considered front runners, and a Canadian is among them. Cardinal Marc Ouellette, former Archbishop of Quebec. Mike Drolet is looking into who he is and why many are betting on him. Mike? Donna, on paper, Cardinal Willett has most of the boxes ticked. He's extremely smart, he's well-liked, yet he's been outspoken on some sensitive issues. And then there's this, he's not European. It would be unfitting for a Cardinal to say he wanted the top job. Cardinal Mark Willett went the other way, once saying to be Pope would be a nightmare. In an interview published online last April, he tempered his words with humility. Obviously, I don't see myself at this level, uh, uh, not at all. And uh, so that's because I see how much it, it entails, you know, as responsibility. It is a job, after all, unlike any other. The more you're aware of the work of the Pope, the more you're aware of the profound uh, challenges in it, the sacrifice it requires, and the more one is glad that every Mass we pray for the Pope. Toronto Cardinal Tom Collins is eligible for election, although he's considered a long shot. Much of the talk today surrounds Willette, a 68-year-old from Quebec who speaks six languages. He's a wonderful man. I've known him for years. He's an excellent man. Willette is in a politically envious position. He's currently head of the office that oversees the creation of bishops. It's upon uh, his recommendations uh, that the Holy Father will make appointments uh, around the world. Um, so in, uh, in a very real way in recent years, he's had a direct hand in uh, shaping um, the Episcopal office of the church. Someone in this sea of red will be elected. And remember, the winner never seems to be the favorite. John Paul II was a moderate surprise. In 2005, Cardinal Ratzinger was a dark horse, and he became Pope Benedict XVI. But right now, the serious contenders appear to be Willette, as well as Cardinals Peter Turkson from Ghana and Francis Arinze from Nigeria, both of whom have been vocal on the spread of Islam. The bookmakers have seen all three as favorites throughout the day, alongside a cardinal from South America, home to 40% of the world's Catholics. Musician Bono is on the list as a long shot. The real issue, though, is uh, will Europe hold on to its power? Not directly. I'd be surprised if there was a European pope. It's not impossible that there are a couple of Italians, but I don't think they will. Uh, Canada is seen as being almost an extension of Europe, so that's possible. It's going to come down to math and politics. There are 118 cardinals. You need two-thirds of the votes to be elected. So there are 14 in Canada and the U.S., 11 in Africa, and 62, or almost half, in Europe. So to be elected, you have to win over the European cardinals. Donna? All right, we should know again by Easter. Mike Drolet in Toronto, thank you.